I love this simple, elegant look because it's not only for special occasions. It can be done for an everyday look, you know. And I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to do it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. So, so far what we're doing here, we are doing the partings first. Just You just have to part the hair into four sections as I'm doing right here. Yeah, that's all about it. And this style is very simple. Anyone can achieve it. Even you can do it on yourself, you know. You don't have to call someone to do it for you. Yeah, so right now I'm doing the partings. And then what you're going to do next, you're now going to use some gel to lay the hair down. So here I'm using gel. Today you're not going to use any bobby pins. Yeah, we're not going to, do, to sew in any hair that is why it's very simple and can be done in less than 30 minutes that is why i love this style very simple very quick and all that so right now we are uh we've done we are done with parting the hair and everything looks good so the next thing now we are laying down the hair using the gel and the reason why i love using the gel every time is because it will uh, keep the hair intact for longer Alright, if you want to stay with it for longer, then go ahead. And here, uh, don't worry about perfection because right now uh, it's a natural hair and it's a bit stressful at times to lay it down. But I think it, if it was a relaxed hair, it could have been much easier. So, but by the way, it, it works on any type of hair be it relaxed hair, be it natural hair, it really works on any type right so you do not have to worry about that just find a gel that works for the type of hair yeah we have different gels in the market guys we have the for natural hair we have for both natural and relaxed and that there is one specifically for relaxed hair so choose what works for you okay so the gel i'm using here it's called soft and free all right but go ahead and choose the gel that works for you uh, guys i tried i tried laying the edges it it, it was really difficult because they kept coming out so i decided not to do the edges today but the style will really just suited it just fitted in it didn't really matter about the edges you'll just see why i'm saying that so the next thing we're going to do i just recently learned that what i'm doing here it's called tuck out yeah i didn't know i did know it's called they're called tuck out so yeah finally i know and i can tell you what they are so we're doing the tuck out and then what you do next we're going to hold the hair the tuck outs into position okay so yeah up to there, I hope you've understood. We started by parting, then we went to laying the hair down using gel. Then now we've done the tuck outs. Look how they came out. So next, we are going to yeah hold the tuck outs in position, all of them, so that the hair piece that you're going to put on top will have a much easier time. So this is what we have so far. Okay, guys, very simple. So we are going to put her in the dryer for 20 minutes. Then uh, here she's... Uh, after the dryer she's already dry now we are going to put the hair piece so here what you're doing you're just using a yarn only we tie one end of the hair and the other end so this yarn is going to help us secure the air the hair and that's it all right no bobby pins no sewing it's going it's going to hold the hair piece perfectly just as long as you just secure it properly with the yarn only that is why it's very simple and it takes less time to finish so the type of hair i'm using here it's called guest girl actually you can uh work with whichever hair you feel like it's going to suit here D don't limit yourself work with whichever hair but i'd prefer you look for a hair that is a bit curly all right that is a bit curly that is going to work so here yeah we're just going to continue all the four uh, all the four patterns that we had done now each one of them you're going to put the hair piece just round it round it round it until it's secure guys and and it's just as simple as that and we are done after doing all 
after attaching all the hairpiece guys we are done and that is how we'll have our elegant style very simple and classy too you can go even with it on uh, if you have a uh, dinner invitations guys you can you can just wear it anywhere everyday look guys it's not a must for special occasions okay and uh, getting to the front, I realized that it really needed a bigger piece. So you have also to consider the size of the hairpiece you're putting. If you put all of them small, it's going to really look funny. So when I put the front piece, as you can see here, I realized that it was small and it, it wasn't really like bringing out the style. So what I decided, I just added another hairpiece on top to make it a little bit thicker or bigger yeah so here you can see i'm adding the other hairpiece and we'll be done after this will be done guys and i hope you've learned something today just like this video share the video comment in the comment section let me know where you're coming from where you're watching from which country guys and we'll get to know each other learn more if you have any question just leave it down in the comment section and i will be glad to answer them but anyway do not forget to tell me where you're coming from which country and we'll be glad to know each other okay so that's it from me today guys i'll leave you with this style and i hope you have a wonderful day a wonderful evening a wonderful night i'll see you next time for the next tutorial so until then goodbye